Hello Aquarius, how are you? Thank you for joining me. Thank you for sharing your energy with me. <clears throat> this is a general reading for your Aquarius placements for the first half of April. Spirit told me what decks to use for this and I did not realize until I got to about the third sign that both of them were sacred. And I know that this is a big month for like pretty much everybody. So this is definitely a sacred time. This is a time for you to move forward along your path. It's a time when you can make big changes. Okay, Aquarius. I'm looking for your card, dear. Aquarius. There it is. The world wants to be written. Holy moly, yes. Now, this is this card has an affirmation or meditation at the end. And I will be reading that afterwards at the end of everything else. Okay? So if you want to listen to that or not. All right. Oh, yeah, it's an affirmation. Okay. <clears throat> Look at how beautiful this is. See if you get anything from the picture itself. Okay. The world wants to be written. You might have been taught that creativity is something you have to work hard to access or that finding your life's purpose is so difficult that you must search high and low for it. Yet what you are is within you and wants to come out at every available opportunity. You don't have to struggle so much. It is more about allowing space for it to manifest and to let the energy flow. The struggle is not in finding something. It is more about letting go of the idea that you need to search for your path in the first place. You see, the process of activating your life path is a natural one. The effort is in getting out of the way, not in making something happen. So it sounds to me like you definitely need to get out of your own way at this time. Something is trying to come through. Something is trying to happen, but you're overthinking. You're worried. You're concerned, not realizing that doing that is blocking. Okay, where is this taking Aquarius? Where is this reading taking Aquarius, please? or how to best get there. We'll also have an advice card at the end. You have activations that are trying to come through. Answering the call, the time is now. You feel a pull towards something. Voyage of the heart, love flows through you and to you. So a heart activation is definitely trying to come through. And I think it's towards something that you love. I do. I think that there's something that wants to be created through you. And it's something that you already enjoy. You already have a penchant for. Mm-hmm. So allowing the heart healing to happen is definitely going to move you forward. That means putting down the burdens. Ah, that means putting down the of uh, the devil putting down the devil energy what's the devil energy the ten of wands could be a capricorn but for most of you this is getting yourself out of your head it's an addiction it's a procrastination it is holding on to anger holding on to heartache holding on to things that do not deserve you. It is a codependency of anything or anyone. Okay. Aquarius, you will have victory, love. Aquarius, please. Yes, yes, the answer is yes, Aquarius. That's all I'm hearing. The answer is yes. This is you in page status moving forward. Send out those letters. 
For some of you, you want information, you want to take classes, anything like that, send it out. Yeah. Page of Swords, and I saw the Hermit card. You know the answer already, but that's you gathering information. And yeah, it will create stability quickly. Quickly. Things are going to, to happen very quickly right now, I think. Hierophant. King of Cups. Four of Swords. King of Wands. Two kings here. And a Hierophant. Taurus Energy. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is all about your heart healing. Spirit coming in, trying to heal your heart. This is about healing. This is about receiving a blessing so that you can move forward. Aquarius, whatever it is that you are anxious, upset. Spirit is asking you to take a break. Eight of Pentacles, Hangman, on that Four of Swords, Five of Wands. Working very diligently on gaining a different perspective, working very diligently to get yourself unstuck. Because for many of you, this stuck position is in your heart chakra. Magician, Nine of Wands. Ooh, you're guarded. You're trying. You're trying, but you're guarded. Strength. Being gentle and kind and slow moving and patient is going to give you the best results. Being forgiven, being forgiven, being forgiving. Perhaps you need to ask someone for forgiveness since I said that. Quietening your own mouth for some of you. Someone ran their mouth and there needs to be forgiving, forgiveness. I don't know if this is you or someone else, but someone has run their mouth. And this is also you taming your words, both that you say to others and that you say to yourself. But you have a major activation here. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. You have a lot of activity coming in that's going to be that's going to want to be done and it's going to bring you so much happiness. Taming your words is coming through very quickly. Listening to your heart instead of shutting it down. Okay? Listening to your heart instead of shutting it down. Instead of embracing any hurt and pain that made you defensive. Instead of thinking about those memories... Just remember good ones. And I know this sounds like a band-aid, but it's not because you are stuck in a place with your heart that needs to be healed. But if you keep thinking about what put you there, you're never going to get out of it. Your brain is becoming addicted to the negative memories. All right. That the chemicals that this produces get back to this, get back to this thinking about how sweet and innocent children are and taking on that energy for yourself. Embody that energy to start to break that cycle. Okay, let's get an advice card from Spirit. There is a higher calling waiting for you, by the way, and you know that it's time Spirit is calling you forward, being brave and answering that call will also help you. 
10 of water. of water. This is your advice. Universal love, divine connection, centeredness, serenity, peace, oneness, boundaries, and disruptions. Truly living in the present, a feeling of divine connection, a time of serenity and ease, power born of knowledge and understanding, a positive emotional state, the power to consciously project your energy, say no to disruptive influences, and don't give life and power to the shadows. So being present in the here and now instead of reliving. You understand basically everything I already said. Okay, we're going to read the affirmation. It's a little long, but repeat it after me. Say aloud or to yourself, I now choose to forgive and release any person, situation, or circumstance that has ever been a source of shame or shaming for me, whether conscious or unconscious, I now release this from my body, mind, and heart through unconditional love. I choose to claim myself instead. I love, accept, and claim all of me under the loving protection and wisdom of life. I choose to live as myself now. I call on the unconditionally loving assistance that life wishes to send me for this journey now. I honor my creative power and my intimate worth, I'm sorry, innate, and my innate worth. So be it. Okay, Aquarius, I hope you enjoyed this, and do be kind and gentle to yourself. You know I love you. Hope to see you soon. Peace to you. Ciao.